Okay, my name is Kofi, Kofi Jemfi. Um, I'm dealing with spare parts, specifically uh, auto parts. Um, I've been going to Nigeria, I've been staying there since 1992. And I know many Ghanaians who are also there, working there, some are having shops, some are having uh, drinking bars, some are having boutique, some are selling phones. Many, many people, they are doing retailing. So when I came here, I realized that uh, they said they want to close Nigerian shop here. And I'm thinking about what will happen if they also decide to close Ghanaian's shop at Nigeria. What will happen? That's my concern now. Because I know many Ghanaians are in Lagos. Where I am staying for Onupanu, Pangroof, Kayu, this side. I can tell you almost about 100 Ghanaians I know there. They are working. So what I'm saying is that uh, the government should sit down with them so that they will know what to do to solve this problem before it gets to a point which is not good and it will not help anybody, especially Ghanaians in Nigeria. What has the situation been? Yeah. Have they been harassing you with their No, 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 no. Nigeria is one of the places, precisely Lagos, is one of the places I'm staying. Everybody is doing his work. You will not know the difference between Ghana and Ghanaian and Nigerian. As I did, if I did for Lagos, people take him take me as like a Yoruba man, but I'm Ghanaian. There are some people. Uh, if you see them, uh, you see them. You think is they are Igbos, but they are Ghanaians. We have mingled with them. No task forces harassing anybody concerning go and pay this or go and pay that. Though the laws are working there, but it's not harassing anybody. And we are not using huge amount, amount to do work there. Any amount of money that you will be able to carry, you can do your own business where you want to do. So it's very painful if I hear these things and I compare with the people I know them and people I know they are working in Nigeria or Lagos, then it, it, it pains me that maybe if we don't take care and we don't handle this thing amicably, it can create a lot of problem. And if we wait for these things to happen, maybe the time that we want to solve it, this problem, it will be like a, a fire something. So we don't need to wait for Nigerians us to strike in their country before Ghana government and the other people will say, let's go and sit down with them. We must do it now. That's my much concern. You did mention that uh, yeah. you don't need much money to work there. Yeah. Yeah. They say before someone can work uh, or can come into the country to work, you must have a, like one million dollar. I want to know there, if, if, if that's such of amount is required, or if they have been harassing you, Pushing mm. people to have that sort of money before you can operate there. No, my brother. One million dollars is not a small amount of money. Even Ghana here, how many people have that money to do work? How many people have one million dollars to do work? Business is a, a, a means of what you have. You can you go to business according to your capacity. Nobody will tell you to take so so, so amount to do your business. Business is a gradual process. Somebody can start with 100,000, then the next you go to 200, 300, or whatever. So that place, there's nothing like amount. Nobody is concerned about the amount that you are using for business. It's, it's not a company that you are opening. If it's if not a company that you are opening, then you say it's a company. But this is not company. This is a, something like, a, how do you call it? It's a, it's a normal trading. So normal trading doesn't need a lot of money. Any amount that you can use to do the business, you can use it. It's your own business. So why should I go and find such a huge amount before I will go and do the business? And the law, the law says, and it states that uh, it, it, it forbids foreigners from trading. Yeah. So let's compare Ghana to Nigeria. I think they must have similar laws. 
Yeah. I think they might have similar laws. And uh, if you have heard of such. I, I, I think what we are talking about is maybe somebody opening a company, but not a trading. Company is different from trading. If somebody is establishing company, something like uh, MTN have uh, their company here, something like uh, uh, maybe Guinness Ghana or Guinness Nigeria or whatever, anything that is company, that one you can demand such amount. But we are talking about trading, we are not talking about company. Because I know that I don't know much about this law, but I know that this law is being taken like somebody establishing a company, not a, a, a trading. And what we are talking about trading, but not a company. Company is something that is a huge amount of money. Hey, but if, if we are talking about trading and we are demanding $1 million for, trade, for each person before the person can do trading, that's, I don't understand that law well. Maybe it's they, are, they are talking about company. If they are talking about company, I know that company is supposed to have a big amount of money. I mean, even it, it could be it could be many people who has combined their money to establish company like bank and that kind of things. But when we are talking about trading, trading is a is somebody who is using a, any amount of money that you have. You can use to start trading. So, so what yeah. you suggest it can be the best solution to to curtail this? Yeah, my, my my the best thing that I want to talk about is that I first said it that now. As we are doing this for here, have we inquired from Ghanaians who are in Nigeria? Have you find out from them? Have you checked their, the, the situation that they are in at that place? We're supposed to check that things. You're supposed to go there, interview people there, let them know the situation like you are interviewing me so that they will know what is on the ground. Somebody is in Nigeria now, he doesn't know that maybe Ghanaian, uh, Nigerians are being harassed here. And maybe one day he wake up in the morning, he will go and see different things altogether. He will feel pains because he doesn't know anything about it. It means because of somebody negligent who will create a problem for somebody. So me, I believe that they're supposed to go and interview Ghanaians in Nigeria, Ghanaians in Lagos. Traders, the business people there, they're supposed to interview them so that they will, they will talk their side to them, for them to know, okay, this and that, this, this is the law that we are using for here or that. But for, you are not asking anything about what is happening in Nigeria, but you take action for your country. And somebody can also take action for his country and it will create problem. So they're supposed to sit down with them and let them know what is inside. But to me, what they are talking about, $1 million, I thought it's a company. It's not a trading. Because how many people has $1 million to do business for Ghana here? Mm. It's impossible. This is, this is, this is, you, if we're talking about company, that one I, I know. But this is business. It's trading that we are talking about. So please, they should sit down with them. They should go to Nigeria. Media should go there, interview Ghanaians there. To know the problem that they are fa facing there, or that if we move this action, it go, it, it's going to help us or not. Yes. Thank you very much for your time. Please no problem. Name. My name is Kofi Jemfi. Yeah.